Today we are going to talk about rain and we're even going to make our own rain cloud in a cup. All right, so we only need a few items. First, we are going to start off with a clear cup. Clear cups are better because you can see what's going on during your experiment. You need that clear cup to be filled with about three-fourths of the weight of water. You're also going to need another cup or bowl. It does not need to be clear, just mine is. And you only need a little bit of water inside. You need a pipette so that you can squeeze your water into your pipette to make your raindrops. You're also gonna need some blue food coloring. This looks a little dark, but it is blue. And then last but not least, you're gonna need shaving cream. All right, so first what we are going to do is we're going to create our raindrops. So if you take a little bit of food coloring, you don't need a whole bunch, and pour it in there. And then I'm actually going to use my pipette as my stir stick. Next, you're gonna take your clear cup with the water inside, and you're gonna take your shaving cream, give it a little bit of shake beforehand, and your shaving cream is actually your cloud. You're going to squeeze into your cup as your cloud. All right, next you're gonna take your pipette, you're gonna give it a little squeeze, and you're going to suck up your rain into your pipette. Now all you have to do is squeeze your pipette onto your cloud. You can place it wherever you would like and you're going to see it fall down into your cup. As you squeeze more and more liquid, more and more rain through your cloud into your cup, it's going to begin to get dense or heavy. The heavier it gets, the sooner it will fall. And you're going to begin to see a layer of blue forming in between that rain cloud and our water. Soon you will begin to see that your rain is falling down into the cup. And now you have rain cloud in a cup. Water is constantly in motion. So the rain that has fallen where you live may have been water in the ocean a few days before. Water takes on different states during the water cycle. Water can be a liquid, a solid, or even a gas. That gaseous state is called water vapor. Water vapor evaporates into the air and begins to form clouds. Those tiny water droplets begin to connect and stick together. And when too many stick together, it becomes heavy and it's too heavy for that cloud to hold. And so gravity takes on and it begins to fall down from the sky. 